everyone, it's Kim, the Homeschooling Grammy, and today I'm going to share with you some more organization. I don't know, I've got this bug, and you know, we live in a small home, and quite frankly, I'm sick and tired of the clutter. And so today, I'm going to share with you how I'm going to fix this closet as you come in my front door. I guess it would be technically the hall closet, coat closet, what have you. door we are very fortunate that we have this nice little closet right here which is very unusual for a single wide mobile home to have a coat closet usually there aren't any so I feel blessed so I'm gonna show you the hot mess that is this closet which I just recently bought all new hangers so they're matchy matchy so there's that but you see all that mess up there I haven't decided what I'm gonna do about that but I have decided how I'm gonna fix this hot mess down here and you see, I've already put like a shoe holder on the back of the door. So that really has helped big time. But yeah. And you know, you would think that because hope is away right now, my house would be kind of not a mess. But look at what my animals have done. The dog has out all of his toys. <laughs> He's like, who me? And the kitten's just chillaxing over I'm there. I'm going to share with you what I purchased. And I only spent $20 on this. So I'm all about not spending a lot of money. Because quite frankly, we don't have the money to spend. So I found this little goober on Amazon. Look at that. So it's the Whitmore Fortier Closet Shelves. It's just made out of metal. Because you figure it's just going to be like, you know closet stuff. Nothing too special. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this thing together and I'm going to figure out how I'm going to organize all that because it's going to be looking a whole lot better than it does now. I can guarantee okay. you that. Bringing organization to your home. That's what I mean. But it says here that there's no tool assembly required. That's always a plus, right? Let's see what we got going on in here. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's all we got. Oh, and some assembly instructions. I might want to read those. Okay, it looks like there's like some like little rubber end pieces probably to go on the ends of the sides of this. So there's two side pieces. And there are four of these shells. And I'll be quite honest with you, I don't even think that it's going to be necessary to look at the directions. It's pretty self-explanatory just looking. The only thing I'm going to tell you right off the top, that if I wasn't putting in this putting this in my closet, I would be quite irritated because of the way they packaged this. I'm just going to let you know. This is kind of aggravating to me. The way they packaged it made some of the paint come off. But... I'm going to say it's not such a big deal for me because it's going to be in the closet. And nobody else is going to see it. But if somebody were going to see it, then I would probably be sending it back. Let's be honest. We have three of the shelves attached. Like it literally like took me like two seconds. I'm going to show you how they attached. So I put this backlit part into the back. And like there's these little holes that this part goes into. There's four little holes for them to snap into. Like, that's how simple this is. Like, super easy. So you just pop them in, like so. Of course, just because I wanted to show you, it's going to, you know, give me a fit. But this is, it really was really simple. They just literally pop in, like so. that and like this let me turn this around of course it doesn't help that I have a kitten like right here that might find me in the way and I don't want to bop her in the head with the metal part so there you go that's so easy it's assembled 
literally, it took me less than Let five minutes. Let me share with you what I did. I did some rearranging because I'm trying to keep this in a budget. I didn't want to spend any more money on containers or things to hold stuff in. And so when I was looking underneath in my homeschool room under the bed, I remembered that there was a basket full of books. So some of the books I took and I actually put into our homeschool closet so that Hope has access to them. I forgot they were under there. Hmm. Tells you I have a book problem. And then there were some other books that I gave back to Poppy. So when he gets home today, he's going to take a look at those books and decide what he wants to do with them. And if he doesn't want to keep them, then we are going to donate them, give them away or whatever. But let me turn this around and show you what I got going you on. See right this here. basket right here? This basket was the basket that was loaded with books. So what I did, there were two other um, soft-sided type containers, not um, wicker like this, that had all of these like art some supplies type stuff in them. And this is more like holiday type supplies, like these Christmas, you know, Easter, whatever kind of stuff that we only pull out like you know, a couple times of year. So I took what was in those two soft-sided containers, combined them into this basket container. This here is the stuff. The only thing I am going to keep, I am keeping these doilies. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm going to keep them. I have some idea what I'm going to do. So all of this stuff here, that is getting given away. This, the few books that Poppy has in the other room, he's going to make his own decision, but this is my stuff to do with what I want, and it's I going to apologize if the lighting isn't very good. Um, today, it's a dreary day. It's always a dreary day here. But as you can see up here, you remember before it was a hot mess. There was stuff everywhere. So this container right here, I put all of my winter supplies in, my hats, gloves, earmuffs, all that kind of stuff in here. Scarves for me is on this side. This side is Poppy's, a.k.a. Bruce, um, all his gloves, etc., etc., and these are our little neck braces for when we're traveling. I straightened up the coat portion a little bit, and then on the bottom, as you can see, no longer a hot mess. I'm going to leave the cat carrier there. You will see down in this lower corner, I don't know if you can see or not, probably not, but those back there are ice grippers for when the weather's bad, and I put our boots on there. And yeah, so the closet is much better, as you can see. And I even utilized the back of the door to help with storage because that's what you need to do. And all of Hope's stuff is actually in her closet. So she has containers and stuff for all there of her. There you have it. Just a real quick organization of my front door hall closet, whatever you want to say, coat closet. Um, I was really sick of looking at it. I've got that spring cleaning bug spring has to arrive. But anyways, God bless. Take care and I'll talk to you in the next video.